Hey everybody. Hey subscribers, thank you for subscribing and thank you to my first time viewers and thank you to anybody who's uh, left any kind of comments, good or bad. I love getting them either way, so thank you very much. And uh, let's get to this. This is about the Omega Quake that's about to go down. Okay, let's go, because, uh, you know, here in March 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, depending on how it rolls out, we're going to be on the next 188-day cycle. So let's, let's, let's investigate this cycle a little bit. Let's go back to February 27th, 2010. And that first one happened there in Chile, Conception, Chile, as a matter of fact, and it was an 8.8. .8. And then 188 days later, it was in September 4th of 2010, there was a 7.1 in uh, Christchurch, New Zealand that killed 146 people. Each one of these earthquakes has been a 7.0 or higher. And then 188 days later was March 11th, 2011, and you guys know where that was, a 9.0 that happened in Japan. Ouch. And then 188 days after that was September 15th, 2011, and there was a 7.3 over in the Fiji Islands over here. So 188 days from there will be somewhere between, like I said, March 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, one of, the, one, of those, one of those dates. I'm not exactly sure which one, but it's one of those three. I think it's 21st or 22nd. And the only region of the Earth that hasn't been hit by a massive earthquake on a 188-day cycle is this here section right here. This whole... Northwestern Hemisphere. I hope not. I mean, I hope it goes back around. We've got one, then two, then three, then four, then hopefully five somewhere in the middle of nowhere where nobody will get, you know, affected by it. But I don't know. But that's the only... you got the Ring of Fire, as they say, and this is the only place that's, that hasn't been hit in the Ring of Fire is this Northwestern Hemisphere. And also, uh, just within a few hours ago, uh, within hours, I'm not exactly sure how many, but within hours we had a a, 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 a solar flare and uh, like our big and it's a it was a solar flare in X 5.4, which don't quote me on is either our biggest or one of the biggest ones we ever had. And since that thing has come down, we've had 24 earthquakes so far since that thing is is has gone on. And also, back on March 9th, two days before the 9.0 Japan earthquake. There was an X1 solar flare that had a CME that was traveling at 2,200 kilometers per second, and then two days after that thing, two days after that thing went off, there was a 9.0 earthquake. So now we have an X5.4 solar flare with a CME traveling approximately 2,200 kilometers per second as well. So same circumstances, except for this solar flare is a lot nastier than the one that happened before Japan. And I, I want to thank, I, I got a lot of this information from Paul Begley and Mr. Comet Watch, so, I didn't, I'm, I'm not, so I'm not trying to say I came up with those all on my own, so I just want to give them credit. So we got all the circumstances, we got all the, we got all the facts, I and mean, when we got things that are, that are lining up, like, you know, so it's, it's looking like it could be, looks like we could be in for a little bit of a shake and bake here real soon. So just to let you guys know, please tell everybody if, they, you know, if they're on a fault line. Like myself, who lives on the Madrid, or if you're on the coast or something, just please let your family know that, that hey, maybe not. But we got four 188 days apart. We've had four massive, nasty earthquakes, and we're and here comes the fifth one, 188 days from the last one, within just a few weeks. Plus, we have the solar flare, so it's it's not good. It's not good. Everything's pointing to that. So I just wanted to tell you guys this real quick, so please be careful. Please be safe. I uh, love you guys very much, and uh, just just be prepared. So thank you again for watching. Thank you for your time, and 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 take care, guys. Godspeed to every one of you.